What? You... What? You ever eaten a testicle? I mean, yeah, but who hasn't? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's I'm Cor. Really I'm expecting that answer. I'm Rick. And he falls. It's the Lakota. 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 See content. They go to the Patreon. Follow the Twitter account. Follow the Gate Squad. Bang. Follow the first on YouTube channel. Links in the description. Juicy yeah. content can get out of control sometimes, and you got. It's so juicy. Gotta what? Gotta slap it. You gotta slap it. You gotta slap that. What? So really, like, goat, what? camel. What are you talking about? Have you ever eaten a testicle? No. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Hold that thought. I, don't, I would never, uh, just like I would never eat tongue. Oh, I would, I would. You, I've had tongue. Um, but no. Anyways, that's nothing to do. We're doing a video, it's called Top, <laughs> Top. I've actually eaten a deer testicle. What was his name? Anyway. Uh, top nine destinations in Western Got? Gots. Gots. Yeah, the Western Gots. Uh, where is that? In the West. <laughs> uh, hill stations in the Western Gots. I don't know where that is. I'm, I'm assuming it's in the hills. In yes. West. Yeah, uh, I honestly, I would be just completely guessing. I'm assuming somewhere in the... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's the West Coast, so it's going to be Mumbai, Goa. Read this. In the north toward Punjab. Uh, welcome to the lush Western Ghats, which is a UNESCO, UNESCO sorry, World Heritage Site and one of the eight hottest biodiversity hotspots in the world. Spread over 1,600 kilo, uh, kilometers in Western India, the Western Ghats rise from north of Mumbai oh. to the tip of Tamil Nadu. There you go. So it goes from Mumbai to down. To the tip of Tamil Nadu, yeah. So there. So go? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Because go would be... Go is south of Mumbai. South of Mumbai. Yeah. Unless I'm an idiot. Here we go. Welcome to the lush Western Ghats. Thanks. Which is a UNESCO world heritage and a one of the eight hottest biodiversity hotspots in the world. I want to go there. Spread over 1,600 there. kilometers in Western There. Mumbai. The Western Ghats rise wow. from north of Mumbai to the tip of Tamil. There too. One of the top hill stations in South India, Kodaikanal, is known for its scenic beauty, set amidst oh. dense forests, and enchanting waterfalls. In the Dindigul district of Tamil Nadu, it surrounds the beautiful Kodaikanal Lake. That's beautiful. Oh, like China? Visit the vibrant gardens, wow. Brian's Park, the massive pillar oh. rocks, and the many picturesque churches in the city. That's gorgeous. Kunur. Right up. Just 20 oh, kilometers cute. from its more illustrious and popular neighbor, Uti, Kunur is nestled amidst the magnificent Nagari Hills. It is blissfully non commercialized, and tourists usually visit it from Uti as a day trip. Apart from soulful wandering amidst the vast tea estates, there are plenty of other places to see in this quaint hill station. Uti. In the lap of the Nagari Hills, like and in beautiful. the state of Tamil Nadu, lies Uti. Also known as Buddha Gamandalam, this hill station is famous for the heritage toy train that runs to the nearby smaller hill station of Kurur. Travelers can also enjoy the botanical gardens, Dota Betta, Avalanche Lake, Paikara Lake, the surrounding Nilgiri Hills and St. Stephen's Cathedral, Mahabaleshwar. Whether it is forest or beaches, waterfalls or green hills, lakes or caves, Mahabaleshwar has it all. Located in the mountain range of the Western Ghats, Mahabaleshwar is so home green. to numerous evergreen forests in India. Some of the must oh. visit spots here are Lingmala Waterfall, like Elephant's Head yeah. Point, Arthur's Seat, Vela Lake, Mahabaleshwar Hill Station, Connaught Peak, and Catholic Church. Molam. Another gem in the lap of the Western Ghats, like Mola is a tiny hamlet situated in the state of Goa that is known for its diverse wildlife and river cascades. This little village is situated near the border with Karnataka in the foothills of Sayadri mountain range and is the primary entry point for Bhagwan Mahavir Sanctuary and Mola National Park. Dandeli 
This quiet town in North Karnataka is a go-to destination for adventure lovers. The thick forests offer a variety of flora and fauna to explore through treks or wildlife safaris. However, this is the what most popular show activity here is India wild India and like movies. Hurtle down 12 kilometers this of the Russian Kali River to get your heart India. racing and an adrenaline fix that lasts for days. Looks like Canada. Valparai. Nestled in the Annamaya wow, Hills, the jaw-dropping landscapes of Valparai make it a popular weekend destination from Chennai. You can take a safari through the Annamalai Tiger Reserve oh. or explore some of the many waterfalls nearby. Also be sure to check out the many tea plantations in and around the town. Munar Munar is a town and hill station located in the Iduki district, Kerala. Nestled in the mighty western Ghats mountain ranges, Munar is also known as Kashmir of South India and known for being an amazing honeymoon destination. Tea plantations, forests, wildlife, valleys and mountains make Munar an attractive scenic beauty. Kur It is one of the most popular hill stations in the state Karnataka. Kur is also known as the Scotland of Southern India. It is famous for its abundant greenery, hilly slopes covered in coffee plantations, wildlife and waterfalls. Oh. Nagarhole National Park, Rajasit, Abbey Falls, Nisarkadhama Iroku Falls, Madikeri Falls are just some of the destinations that are worth the visit. Don't forget to like this video and do tell us in the comments. So it looks like our next trip to India is going to be quite beautiful. <laughs> Oh man, that was gorgeous. That is not, and I, obviously we know now that obviously India is not just what it's shown in like, you know, Slumdog Millionaire. Um, or just, because I think the main thing people think about, obviously you got the, the what is that? Um, the, the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, thank you. Taj Mahal, slums, and then desert, I think. Those are probably the three main things that people will think about, and people, lots and lots of people. Probably the three main things. And third world country, yeah. they'll throw that in there. You'll, you'll never see people that aren't familiar with India already saying how green it is, mm -hmm. and how diverse the nature is all over the... You'll and how never get a person who's not familiar already to, never. to realize that. When people talk about the most beautiful places in the world, at least in my ages of influence and here, here in the United States, when they talk about, oh, I want to go to when, you know, the destinations of beauty, mm -hmm. obviously Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, right there. Then they talk about New Zealand, and yeah. then they talk about Ireland and Scotland. Yeah. And then they talk about, we're going to go to the Caribbean. Yes. We're going to go to Tahiti. Yes. Never is uh -huh. India part of the equation. The only time it's an equation is if they're like spiritual. They're going like, on a spiritual quest. I want to go on a spiritual yeah. quest. I'm going to go on a spiritual quest. I'm going to go up to the Himalayas, and I'm going to become like a monk. They get into that stereotype. Yeah. You know, That's one of the most, again, uh, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Most of those places, it seemed like we're in Tamil Nadu, which <sighs> seems gorgeous. Um, yeah, our next trip we're planning on, well, we, we have no plan right now because we're not allowed out of the United States. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, we're infected here. Um, but the, uh, start in Mumbai probably again. Yeah, but then, and then go south. Travel, just from Goa and then uh, Malayalam. Tamil Nadu, mm -hmm. we're gonna hit all that South India uh, area and it looks freaking gorgeous. And I, had I known then what I know now, I too would have been quite bent out of shape at Slumdog in terms of it, you know, portraying and perpetuating these stereotypes. Well, here's the thing with that, is that it's a good film. I don't think any Indian denies that it's actually no, a it's film. No, it's a well-made movie. Um, it's. And it's not the fact that it portrayed the slums, because there are slums, as everybody knows. There are slums mm -hmm. in India, massive slums in Mumbai. We flew over them. But the fact that that was the first big movie that people saw of India. Well, and I can't think of any other films in America that depict India in any other way. Yet. Yet. Yeah. Like you said, where are the movies that are showing the, or, this parts of, or these parts of extraction, India? Extraction, where it was... Right. It, it had, like, this yellow overtone. Right. Uh, right. Which makes it look like a desert, which is why yeah. a lot of people think, oh, it's very deserty. I'm telling you, most people in America, when they think about India, they think that, and they don't differentiate it. They think it's near K Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. That's what they think, and that's no different. Mm -hmm. That's the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, 
That was oh, gorgeous. So, so I can't so wait till we can actually start planning our next trip. Because um, that will be fun. Um, but, you know, I don't know when that will be. <laughs> and at the day we can see a film that people are watching in the U.S. that depict these aspects of India, I'm, it's going to be a beautiful, wonderful time, man. Yeah. To, to eradicate... It, it's so bad. It's almost like it's intentional. Well, it's, literally, it's because they want white people to feel bad. <sighs> it's essentially what it is. It's like, oh, feel bad for these people. They live in slums. You can't feel bad for them if they live just like you do in a in a normal house. <laughs> India's beautiful. Ah, white people. They're terrible. <laughs> Da din din 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 da din din